Hello, this is Jeff Parker from Monolith Software. Thank you for taking a minute to review our Event Manager Suite uh, web tour. So first I'd like to start with taking you through a couple of technology management axioms. First, you can't manage what you don't measure. Secondly, you can't measure what you don't collect. And then most importantly, you can't fix what you don't know is broken. So if we talk about what a lot of organizations have historically done, they've had uh, different solutions in place for network management, applications, systems, storage, it could be telephony management, lots of different uh, point management solutions in place. And the traditional knock, if you were to walk into them, you would see rows and rows of consoles of people trying to watch each specific management application and watch for alerts as they're occurring within the environment. And then what they've uh, been forced to do over the course of time is uh, do things like email integration. So if I see this certain problem, I want to send out an email or I want to send out a pager notification or some sort of trouble ticketing integration. But what you can see below, if you look at all the different lines, just with four different point management solutions, you can see all the uh, point integrations that are required or necessary in order to um, tie in with ticketing systems, paging, email, and whatnot. So the, the crux of the uh, problem that we're faced with is there's just way, way too many points of integration. It's very difficult to maintain. Uh, a lot of noise is created when you have all these different consoles that are out there in the environment. And really, there's no logic or intelligence behind how do I correlate perhaps a switch outage with the fact that an application is down because that switch actually fed the uh, servers that were required for the application. So what we've really wanted to recognize in the industry is this idea of moving in the lower left from these point solutions or silos of management up into this concept of integrated event management. So when you talk about monolith event manager suite, what's providing organizations with is the single pane of glass or what's also called the manager of managers solution which is giving you a centralized event log management platform for having all of your aggregated events in one place so your IT operations or your NOC team can go ahead and respond accordingly to mission critical events. So when you look at Monolith and what we do, we address a lot of the different key areas of management uh, focus or management disciplines that organizations are looking for. As a matter of fact, we are the only vendor offering this single code set solution addressing this concept of multi-tenancy, availability management, fault or event management, correlation, performance, and metric management, auto discovery, auto mapping, overlaid with real-time dashboarding and service level management. Now the focus today is on Monolith's event, manage event management suite. So if you talk about what is event manager suite, event manager suite really consists of three core components. In the left up of the uh, image on top, you'll see Event Manager. Event Manager is your real-time event and log management um, platform, and it basically gives the ability to take in any type of event feed or format into the system set itself. So that's where the real-time events happen. Event Reporter to the right is your historical event management. So that's after you acknowledge, clear, delete, delete an event, you can go back in time and say, how many times did I see this particular event or problem occurring? And then action manager is where a lot of the automation occurs with respect to things like um, us, um, uh, integrated knowledge, wiki-based knowledge base, so organizations can right-click an event to see what are the trouble steps they're supposed to go ahead and take to solve that type of problem. It includes a escalation notification engine, so you can do building your on-call schedule, so based on time of day event, severity event type, automatically notify the correct personnel. As well as there is additional uh, functionality with respect to uh, enhanced correlation, which is found in our watcher correlation and our CAPE, which stands for Custom Action Policy Engine. So this is a high level, but what I'm going to do is take you through uh, the various components by giving you some screenshots that talk about the functionality. One of the uh, key points, though, with any uh, event management platform is really the ability to take in any sort of feeder format. So effectively, what you can see here is Monolith supports any of the standard management protocols like SMP Trap or Syslog or Transaction Language 1 or ping type formats, but then there's also vendor specific. You can see there's different database feeds, there's flat file feeds, NT event logs, uh, Unix, Linux uh, type formats, there's email, POP3, as well as vendor specific type integration points. So what you're seeing right here is Monolith's Event Manager Gauge View. Key concept behind uh, what we have to offer in this space is the Gauge View gives the ability to see at a very high level all of the events in your organization. So if you see the all events occurring um, on the upper left gauge here, there's 100, 
and 84 million events that have occurred. But through this process called deduplication, you can see it deduplicates down to 3,780 unique event types. And then you can see there's nested gauge views. So I can go from global down to maybe the network uh, events only or the systems only or application and whatnot. So you can do very di various different nested trees, as well as those other gauges you're seeing on here are then just different sub-slices of all the events. Now the horizontal um, bar you're seeing here shows distribution of events based on severity for that filter. The gauge shows average severity of events. And then if you look along the left, you can see we can group event filters based on specific groups you can uh, uh, set up and identify. And they can be nested as well. You can view uh, de device-based groups as well as we have something called uh, meta, which gives you the ability to add meta tags to devices under management for uh, dynamic um, dynamic event list views. So the key point uh, behind this is everything we do is 100% browser-based, it's plug-in free, and it scales tremendously high. So organizations with a very significant event volume can leverage Monolith to really support any size environment. Next, you can see if you were to click on a gauge or a um, event filter in the, in the left window uh, along the side, you'll see you can drill down into the events themselves. By selecting on an event, you can then right-click it, and that's where you can see you can open the knowledge base to search based on you know event type, event text, or whatnot. You can acknowledge, unacknowledge, clear, or delete events. There's also options for open ticket if you have ticketing integration, as well as you can do things like view viewing history, alarm info, alarm journal, you can do various filtering options, see, see device information, and uh, NT event log information. So some of the customers we've seen have leveraged Monolith not only to do traditional type of event formats, but in this case you can see you can do environmental type alarms. So in the case of doors opening or site battery discharges or maybe generator runs or fan failures, which are uh, critical event types with large-scale organizations that have data centers or service provider type clients. Another unique and differentiating factor of Event Manager Suite is the ability to right-click an event to show view history. So you can see this event actually had a count or a tally of eight. By right-clicking, you can see the individual occurrences of that event. And the, and the uh, power behind that is the ability to see how the thresholds change over time versus just deduplicating and, and writing over that information, losing the granularity like many, many of our competitive systems do. And then we have various filtering options. So you can do the load filter, or you can do forensic filter, which I'm showing you right here, which makes it very easy to uh, go ahead and use AJAX-based technology to automatically populate the drop-down list to allow you to quickly search and find whatever it is you're looking for. And in this case, you can either um, put in your query to find a specific event list view you're looking for, or you can go ahead and use this same interface to create your own filters and then save them by giving them a name, saving it, and assigning rights to it. And then Event Reporter is really that historical component that allows you the ability to go ahead and go back over time and say, how many times did I see you know, events that impacted this particular server, this application, this customer, over any time period you would select. So it could be based on the last, you know, quarter, show me how many um, interface uh, events or uh, 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 T1 events did I have that went down, or how many times did I see a uh, network outage, or how many times did I see a particular application go down. So Event Reporter is your historical reporting engine. We also have the ability to do um, custom correlation with our watcher. So based on watcher, you have a graphical user interface that allows you to go ahead and watch for disparate type events and look for problems as they're occurring. So a quick example might be I have two servers, a primary and a secondary exchange server. If one's down, no problem, you still have back, backup. But if they were to both go down, you just lost your email uh, service itself. So what it can do is look for an incident occurring where both of the servers are down, and then it inserts what we call a new meta event which is more descriptive of the problem, stating that your email service is down. And then another piece we have is CAPE, which is our custom action policy engine, which allows you to basically do intelligent virtual operator type functionality. So if you look in the top event list, you can see there's an event for Lido, and it had a CPU high event occur. And if you look, there's a crossed value threshold at a rate of three. That means that occurred three consecutive times. Well, when that happens, that kicks off the keep policy. The keep policy then goes out to the device itself, runs a query, pulls the 
service running on the box with the highest CPU utilization enriches the event itself uh, within your event list. So the the actions that an operator would normally have to do manually, you can go ahead and automate and take that first level of troubleshooting from there. So anyways, thank you for taking time to review the Event Manager Suite overview. As you can see, we have various options in terms of getting more information about Monolith itself or about various components, or you can feel free to reach us at sales at monolithsoftware.com or if, uh, calling our number, which is 800-376-8308. Thank you for your time.